Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. I just wanted to share a really personal story of mine and it's because I feel like you guys are family and also for a few other reasons that I will address later. But for those of you who just want to see gameplay, you can go onto the timestamp on screen right now to skip right to it. Anyways, for those who do not know, throughout my childhood, I didn't grow up with a father because he passed away when I was three years old and my grandma has been looking after me from my mom's side basically my entire childhood so she was a really big part of my life and today I learned that she passed away but anyways I dried my tears up for the most part I just want to let you guys know because once we find out the exact day for the funeral we're going to catch a plane ride straight to Hong Kong and then we'll attend her funeral so during that time I won't be able to upload any videos but on top of that I guess my YouTube channel will suffer a bit my main account will get dropped out of Grandmasters because the decay is quite brutal and also it, it hurts a lot. So I really do hope that most of you guys still stay around when I do come back in a couple of weeks. I'm not sure when I'll leave yet, so I'll still keep uploading as much as I can until we fly off to Hong Kong, and then I'll be missing for a couple of weeks. I'll come back, make some content, hopefully you guys are still around to watch. I know it's a really big ask, but if you guys are there, that would be amazing. Anyways, I do apologize for this little bit of drama. It's not what the channel is about. And let's get on to the video. Hey, how's it going guys? Jay-Z here. Welcome to episode 31 of the Iron Four to Diamond series. Today we're going to be playing Yorick in the top lane. As voted by you guys, we did get the switch with Skarner. He's going Skarner mid for... Apparent reason is that he wants to counter Yasuo. Apparently, he thinks that Skarner counters Yasuo. Like, I really don't think so. But we'll see how it goes. I don't think it really matters. Against Darius, it does feel kind of strange. Like, what I heard is that Yorick beats Darius. But I'm still yet to see how. Maybe it's because of his wall. But the general rule for playing Yorick is you want to get your graves out and then you want to keep throwing your E at them. The moment you land your E, summon your ghouls and then that's your poke. Outside of that, you don't want to do anything else to summon ghouls. You just want to make sure that you use it for poke. So with these resources that we have, the corrupting potions, we're going to keep poking at the enemy as much as we can. And that's the reason why we have biscuits as well, is just to sustain so that we can keep poking at them. Once they're low enough, then we're just all in. But before that, we're just doing range poke. So basically, let Darius push in the whole time. We don't want to push against Darius, because he can just run us down. He also has Ignite, so it's going to be really scary if we do fight him before he gets low enough. Definitely take E off smart cast because it's very important that we land our E's. If we miss any, then it becomes a lot harder to lane. I feel like early on, I'm going to just let Darius continuously push us in. Also, it's kind of rough because I think uh, roommates, as you guys say, might be watching stuff while in bed with the lights off. So it's, well, it's happening again. Um, yeah. Nothing I can do about it. I can just wait for them to apparently go to sleep, but they're still using the internet because the Wi-Fi is off. It's like really late at night. And for those that are wondering, my usual ping is 20. So if it fluctuates, it's worse than say, if if I fluctuate to say 90 ping, um, your 90 ping is a lot easier to play than my 90 ping because my one's like spike 90. Same how it goes when I'm 300 ping on NA. Um, it's like 200 ping here, that spike is worse than 300 ping on NA. That's just how it works. Okay, he's gonna get level 2, so we just back away. Whole point is just to let him push in, so really nothing he can do. He has way better wave clear with his Q. It's not like you can out clear him, so this is the only way to play this matchup. If you do anything else, you're just going to die. We only missed one minion so far. It's not too bad. How did he hit that W? So far away. But yeah, I'll try my best not to complain about the pink, but it does feel very, very bad. So I won't mention it anymore. Oh this is not gonna work. But it did zone him off from EXP. Wait, did I just miss a crazy ton of minions? That was so not worth, actually. I think I just missed like the entire wave. So he's level 3, I'm level 2. Yeah, I missed a lot there. That gank put me really far behind. I wanted to ping uh, Warwick back. Because no matter what happens, even if we get the kill, I still fall behind. Uh, it's the worst time to gank when there's a massive wave crashing into tower. So as any jungle mains out there listening, 
Make sure you don't gank during those times. Because it does more harm than good for your laner. Okay, we have our ghouls. I missed my E, so I don't summon them. Okay, my E's coming up. Let's throw it at him. It does not land, so we don't summon ghouls again. But it looks like that one was gonna land, though. The good thing about Yorick is he's not very ping dependent. Okay, we landed that. Oh, that is unfortunate. But look at how much poke we did. Got him to half. So I guess the next one that we land with E, we just all in him. Seems easy enough. And looks like because we're sort of freezing it and just slow pushing, he's going to miss out on a lot. Actually, we're freezing it completely. Look at this. It's beautiful. We just need four more minions than, than our wave. So we just keep the freeze here and then... Are you kidding? I missed that. Okay, he broke the freeze, which is good on his part. But we're just safely farming. That's really the matchup. Pop a biscuit here for the mana. Okay, there we go. So we'll jump on him. Do a number of damage on him. And then we start pushing out. Okay, so I'm going to pop my biscuit very soon. If I can land my E, I'll pop my biscuit and my ult. Okay, he should be dead here. It's very easy. This matchup, I guess, makes sense. It, it is easy for this reason. is You just play it properly. Your maiden stays with you now, so it's very overpowered. Your maiden's permanent. So I think this is something that you guys can all get behind and use. Very easy to abuse. Let's get Sheen and we'll get some health. And get some armor as well. And I think we're in very good hands. We're going to be hitting really hard the moment we get on someone. We have the tankiness with our crystal and our armor. So we're not like straight up inting. And we also have Mount Maiden. So just make sure we land some really juicy E's. And then we should be good to go. And yeah, we take jungle camps really, really fast with Maiden. So we might as well take a camp here and there. Everyone I knew is dead. Maybe I can go and cheese his red. So let's give that a try. Let's see, that'll be a Lee Sin. Okay. Alright, let's just bring this in. That is very unfortunate. If only I had Smite, then this will work so much better. Okay, we're gonna try to get some ghouls here with our Maiden. Okay, let's bring Maiden back to us.
Alright, this should be... Okay, never mind. He flashed away. Let's bring our Maiden back. We just have to run really far back to get our Maiden back. Okay, so Darius can't even stay under tower right now because I'm about to throw balls at him if he does stay. So I can see why this is a huge counter pick. Pop a wall here so that after the ghouls die, tower hits that. Oh, yeah, this maiden's gonna die. It's fine. We'll let it die. Get the tower platings. I'm not going to summon my ghouls until all these minions die off because I want to deny Darius as much as possible. Okay, now we can summon ghouls. Okay, so we'll head back and we could probably teleport back to lane if we wanted. I can also get my tabbies here. And I guess we'll work towards more trinity items. I probably could have just walked back to lane, but may as well. We'll come here early. For no real reason, so might as well just drop a ward here at Rift. And get the Spire. Then we'll head to lane. So right now, uh, back to square one where we just get some graves and start throwing them at Darius once he gets anywhere near us. Okay, so Darius is heading there. We just warn. And just summon ghouls, start pushing out. The good thing is, we push out really fast with ghouls. There's a chance Darius walks through this way, right? Hmm, no. He can still kill us quite easily until I have my ult. Shut down. I think what I'm gonna do is summon my maiden and then take out a jungle camp and then I'll come back to him. Okay. So now I'll try to throw my ghouls at him. Oh, actually, not yet. We can look to fight him. Never mind, we need ghouls. And he's missing again. We'll try to get tower. And then we'll start roaming with our maiden. Okay, let's just get tower. Maybe I should have went a lot more aggressive and gotten the kill. I think I definitely could have. Uh, I'm gonna say worth. We get the tower anyway. I'm just not too confident with his power spikes. So I go for the most guaranteed way to win. Oh, there's Lee here as well. Ah, damn. That was so boosted. Alright, well, we get our Triforce here. I guess because we're pretty ahead in this lane, I'll also go for a Death Stance. I feel like that could be a really nice touch. Yeah, I feel like Death Stance into GA is better than Sterix, but maybe I'm wrong. It's just that Sterix got nerfed, I remember, and doesn't scale as well into Triforce. 
But we'll see. Just that right now I only have 700 gold. I'm hoping to get Maiden very soon, and then I'll start roaming with her. But for now, I just want to push out this lane again. What's one more grave? Okay, so let's roam around with these four ghouls, actually. No Let me see if we could catch out a Darius. If not, then I'll push this out, my Maiden will be up, and then I'll just solo rift. Okay, so Darius is coming over. Let's see, if I was Darius, I'd walk through this way. Oh, we got him. Damn. Let's see if he still goes to lane. Oh, something's happening there. Ah, uh, nah. I'm gonna lose my mating if I do that. Maybe I can come over and clean up here. Because there's quite a lot of low health people. Hmm, missed. Oh, can we get him? Damn, that luck's fine. Okay, we need to get our maiden back. They should not teleport like that. Okay, let's push our mid now. Now, uh, Rift Herald will despawn very soon as well. Oh, actually in three minutes. Oh, we should be able to get this tower. Drop a wall here. So that it hits the wall first. It hits cannon, then the ghouls, then the wall. Okay, now we can back away. Might be able to get a jungle camp here. So we'll pull this back a little. All of these summon small ghouls because we have Maiden up. So it's really nice. Okay, and now we'll scout out for Rift Herald. Might be able to just kill Darius outright. I think I might just do that. Kill Darius outright. Um, yeah, he's still pushing. Nice. I think at this point we're too tanky for Darius to kill us. Oh damn. So he's in this bush. Yeah, that's not gonna work. He halted like that. He can't get the stacks fast enough before I kill him because we do way too much damage with Maiden. Like, like an overpowered amount of damage. It's just percentage health damage as magic damage, so it's impossible to itemize against. Okay, there's this guy here. Okay, very nice. Now we look for a tower to knock down with our rift. Okay, so I'm going for death stance here. Just because I feel like it. I think Steric Gauge is probably better, especially against Darius. So if you play against Darius, definitely get Steric's first. And then you can go for GA or Death Stance. Actually, it doesn't even matter. Just go for Triforce first. And Tabby's is very nice as well. I'm already coming over, so Jinx shouldn't be like continuously walking over knowing that I'm already here. I don't see the point. What is she trying to do? I need a split push. She's not letting me, so... I guess she can do her thing. I'll clear these camps. Because I clear it so fast. And then I head to mid, because that's where Jinx is supposed to be, is mid lane right now. But instead, they're forcing two bot. And she just half pushed. So this is what you don't do as ADC. Like, this is really bad macro. They're just in a very bad spot right now. Basically, what Jinx did just forced Thresh into a bad position and almost killed herself. Okay. Oh no! I was meant to ward! Oh, that's annoying. We might be able to fight this. What rate? Like, what rate is going in? Oh my god, this is juicy. The 
the Warwick plays. I like it. It's really nice when someone goes in before you so that you can just wail on everyone because you're pretty much like a melee hyper carry. Ooh. Nice. We're gonna push this so quickly. Rift Held is so nice with Yorick. My god, we just melt him. I actually landed that E? Holy crap, he's dead. So overpowered. Yorick's damage is overpowered, seriously. Alright, let's just back away. We're too ambitious right now. <laughs> I'm trying to kill them under the two Nexus Towers. That's how Yorick can get so strong to the point where you get way too ambitious. You just think that you're on top of the world. And you kind of are. Okay, we can also solo Baron. With these items, we can solo Baron. So, I might just go... I want to do Dragon first and buy items, then solo, because I'm thinking that a completed death stance is really nice, like it will guarantee it. And also Mountain Drake makes it just the dream. Hmm. I guess Caitlyn might be able to donate a free kill for me if she sticks around. I think I straight up... Hmm. My god, my auto did so much damage. We're gonna hit the 10 kill mark. Not bad. We also got Dragon, so we'll go back and solo Baron. I'll show you guys. With Mountain Drake, oh my god, we have so many Drakes. But with Mountain Drake, that's all you need. And some lifesteal, you're good to go. It guarantees that you can solo Baron the moment you have Mountain Drake and also your ult. But if we do die, it's because they have this warded. <laughs> That's the only reason. Hopefully they don't have this warded, and I'll show you guys. Yeah, we do a lot of damage. Percentage health, magic damage. Because the ghouls are tanking, it's very nice. Oh, Warwick's tanking. You guys saw it's already way too low health. There's no chance that we don't take Baron. Like, we just melted Baron so fast before Warwick even came. And we still had ghouls alive. So as long as the ghouls are tanking, we do full damage. If Maiden's tanking, that works too. Also, Maiden has 5,000 health, which is a lot more than Yorick. Yorick has 3,000 health, and I'm having a lot of health items. And also, I have Grasp of the Undying. Okay, we got our 10 kills. Yeah, this is... <gasps> oh, she survived, okay. I was about to say this, like, the damage is so dumb because I only used one Q and it went from 100 to 1%. Oh, hello. Mr. Lane Bully. Oh my god. We got another two kills, so... Ended the game with 12 kills. Very nice. And obviously, we'll have a look at damage dealt. And be sure to vote down below which champion you want to see in the next episode. Or, you know, <laughs> even a challenge if you want me to do a challenge. We'll give the honor to Skarner because he let us lane swap. Yorick, very powerful and is a huge counter pick to Darius. So if you're ever Monka S against Darius and you're like, I don't know what to play against Darius, you play Yorick and follow the rules that I showed here. You do not push early. You let him push you in and then you just keep chucking ghouls at him whenever you have graves up. Just keep throwing E's at him. The moment it lands, you use your Q, summon the ghouls and it'll go on him. Chunk him to half, do it again and then he's dead. So it's not that hard. And yeah, off the charts damage in a 24 minute game. So we 
pretty much hyper carried because our damage is very very dumb like very a bit too high i feel like yorick's damage is way too high when maiden's out it's too overtuned in my opinion also for the rune stats these are the numbers here these are really good for scaling, especially Magic Footwear, Demolish. I guess the other two, Grasp and Overgrowth, really helps with the health. So if you have a really big health pool, it's very hard for Darius to kill you. His ult just does, what, 1000 damage at late game with max stacks. So if you have like three, 4000 health, he's not going to be able to kill you because he has to order you down for the two, 3000 health that you have remaining, which is going to be very difficult for Darius. Be sure to vote down below which champion you want to see in the next episode. I'll be sure to do it. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.